Okay, so our, our third domain here is audit and accountability. And I know from my perspective, um, the, first couple, the first couple make a lot of logical sense um, to non-technical people. I'm, I'm actually a non-technical person, I don't know if you knew that. Um, the audit and accountability, this is the first one that's kind of technical and a little bit fuzzy, I think, to most business people. So let's try to simplify it a little bit and what we're trying to accomplish. It, it sounds like that, that fearsome course in business, you know, it's kind of like, what do we have this semester? I have audit and accountability. It's like, oh, good yeah. luck with that one. Um, but when you look at it from a CMC perspective, okay, it is, it's detailed. There are nine different controls that they have in place, okay, for this, and they spell out to the detail exactly what you do. Big animal pictures, what are we trying to do here? It's the data. It's who had access to what, when did this happen? It's not a question of when will you be breached, okay? It's if you get attacked, that's the gems. Those are the little pieces of nuggets that we're gonna go back to. Right. And we're gonna say, okay, how'd they get in? Where'd they get in from? Okay, who was doing what? Right. Okay, and it's that data, which is a lot of data, okay? It's those yeah. logs. It's timing those logs to a single time source. So you can look across your devices and say this log and this log, they're referencing the same time source. So I can have a realistic picture. Yeah. If you don't do that, it's, it's going to be haywire. Yeah. Right. I think this is the first category too, you know, obviously depending on the size of the organization, oftentimes this is outsourced to a SIM um, mm -hmm. or some sort of managed security uh, organization. But I, I agree with you, there is kind of this ongoing thing that you have to be doing, but the most important part of this category, I think, is, um, you know, for that when it, the, the hack that happens or whatever, yeah. being able to dive in and, and, and look through the logs and see how, how it happened and make sure that you're, you're shoring things up so it doesn't hap happen again. Right, so. it's looking at those logs, but it's also looking at how do I know the log is actually logging? Yeah. Did the log get right. turned off? Yeah. Okay, as a hacker, they go in, the first thing they want to do is they want to basically turn off logging. Yeah. Why? It hides their actions, right. all right? So these are the controls in place that says, am I gathering the right information off the right systems, time to a source, and have alerts in place so I know that I'm covered should I need that data later? Yep, perfect, that's helpful. Right.